Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most engine repairs will require some disassembly. Before you attempt this, make sure the engine has cooled and remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. When disassembling the engine, we recommend there be little or no fuel in the tank. To remove the recoil starter, release the starter rope from the guide and note the orientation of the starter itself. Now use a 10 mm socket to unthread the mounting nuts, securing the starter. With the starter removed, you can lift off the engine shroud and fuel tank as well. To uninstall the ignition coil, first detach the ignition coil wire. Now use the 10 mm socket to unthread the mounting bolt and an adjustable wrench to unthread the mounting post. You can now remove the coil. If you need to replace the engine flywheel, first depress the bail arm to release the brake and secure the arm. Use a strap wrench to secure the flywheel and a 19 mm socket to unthread the flywheel mounting nut. With the nut removed, lift off the cooling fan. You can now use a flywheel puller to help detach the flywheel. The flywheel has markings to indicate where the puller arm should be positioned. We recommend using a business card to protect the magnet. Remove the old flywheel. Before you install a new flywheel, Confirm that the key is intact in the crankshaft. Now align the new flywheel. Reposition the cooling fan and insert the washer. Thread the flywheel mounting nut and tighten. Use a torque wrench to torque the nut to 55 foot-pounds. Replace or reinstall the ignition coil by positioning it on the engine. Then thread the mounting bolt and post loosely. Pull the coil back and tighten the bolt and post. Now rotate the flywheel so the magnet aligns with the coil and insert a business card between the coil and the flywheel. Loosen the bolt and post to align the coil the correct distance from the flywheel. Retighten the bolt and post, then remove the card. Connect the ignition coil wire. To remove the valve cover, use the 10 mm socket to unthread the valve cover mounting bolts. You can use a flathead screwdriver to help pry the cover off. This may require some effort. If you're going to install a new valve cover, first remove any sealant residue from the cylinder head. Make sure the cylinder head surface is dry as well. Now apply some fresh sealant to the inside of the cover. 
aligned the cover on the cylinder head, then thread and tighten the mounting bolts in an alternating pattern. Torque the bolts to 7 foot-pounds. Reposition the engine shroud and fuel tank. Properly realign the starter, then thread and tighten the mounting nuts to secure. Extend the starter rope, secure the rope in the guide, and release the bail arm. Before you uninstall the carburetor, you should close the fuel valve. Now press the retaining tabs down to release the air housing cover and set the cover and air filter aside. Use a 10 millimeter socket to unthread the mounting bolts, securing the air filter housing and carburetor. Detach the filter housing from the breather tube. Next, release the retaining clamp and detach the fuel line from the carburetor. Disconnect the throttle return spring and the governor rod to release the carburetor. To disassemble the carburetor, use a 10 mm wrench to unthread the screw, securing the carburetor bowl. Lift off the bowl. You can now remove the float pin and lift off the float and needle. To access the main nozzle, Use a small flathead screwdriver to unthread the main jet. You can now slide out the main nozzle. Reinstall or replace the main nozzle by inserting it long end first into the carburetor tube. Rethread the main jet. Confirm that the needle is attached to the float. Then align the needle and float on the carburetor and insert the float pin to secure. Continue the carburetor reassembly by confirming that the bowl gasket is in place. Then replace the bowl. Thread and tighten the screw to secure. Reinstall the carburetor by first connecting the governor rod and throttle return spring to the throttle arm. Attach the fuel line and secure it with the clamp. Next, attach the breather tube to the air filter housing. Insert the mounting bolts through the housing. Slide on the air cleaner gasket, followed by the carburetor. Now slide on the air guide gasket, followed by the choke control assembly. Slide on the intake gasket, then thread the bolts into the engine and tighten to secure.
Replace the air filter in the housing, then align the lower cover tabs with the housing and snap the upper tabs into place. With the engine reassembly complete, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug. Open the fuel valve, refill the fuel tank, and your engine should be ready for use.